Hey, good morning, YouTubers. Hey, I just wanted to give you an update on the uh, 210 gallon conversion project. Um, last Sunday, uh, the kid that I was giving the African cichlids to, he came over Sunday evening and we netted up about 15, 15 to, to 18, uh, five to six inch African cichlids and put them in five gallon buckets and he took them home with him. Uh, the fish survived the trip. Uh, I, I spoke with him uh, the day later, a day later uh, Monday, and he said the fish were still doing fine. Uh, so that's a good sign. Uh, some really beautiful fish. Uh, in addition uh, to the fish, I, I gave him the Universal Rocks 3D background that was in the tank and also uh, hooked him up with three canister filters. So he got a steal of a deal. I mean, that was at the best price you could ever ever get, you know, free. So, but I gutted the, the 210. Uh, the tank's empty, the stand's empty. Um, kind of wait, we're waiting right now. We need to replace the flooring before I move forward with the uh, saltwater conversion of the tank. Um, but there's a couple of things I can do between now and when the flooring's put in. Um, the stand on this tank is about 30 inches tall, but it's got a built-in bottom. And so I lose about three or four inches of clearance between the bottom of the stand and the bottom of the tank. And my concern is I know I'll be able to get the uh, the, uh, the sump in, in there uh, and I know I'll be able to get the skimmer in there as well. However, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the collection cup off of the skimmer to clean it. So um, maybe tomorrow or, or sometime over the weekend I'll find some time and I'll uh, do a, a test fit, so to speak, to see, you know, what all I can get in there. If it does not fit, I mean, that's like a deciding factor for me as to whether uh, keep this stand or build a new stand. Um, if it does not fit, I will build a new stand. The new stand that I'm looking at building, if you're familiar with uh, the King of DIY Aquariums, uh, Joey Mullins, mm -hmm. uh, He's got several really good videos on building stands, and they're, it's not rocket science. It's nothing really terribly complex. I just need to, to change his measurements to my measurements. Uh, I may, instead of using 2x4s, I may use 2x6s. Um, you know, we'll, we'll figure that out when we get there. Um, another factor that's going to... to impact whether I use this stand or go with a different stand and I want to show you guys this um, the way the aquarium sits on the stand it's not recessed you know there's not like a, a, a raised lip for the stand uh, to sit in or sit on uh, I don't know if you can see that this is the tank the, the, the uh, support bracket or the ring and this is the stand. It's basically, you know, just resting on it. All right. Now I'm going to raise the camera up and show you a, a down view. Those are wood shims. And the reason why I had to shim uh, this side of the aquarium is there is a pretty good sized gap between the stand in the bracket and I didn't want I didn't want the panel to sag and damage the, the seal so I jammed a bunch of shims in there now this has worked for going on two years haven't had any issues with it um, if I decide to go this route again I don't expect to have any other you know, I don't, I'm not planning on doing anything super crazy where I have to worry about the stability of it. Um, but here's a question for y'all. What do you think? Would you replace the stand? 
build a new one. You know, if I build a new stand, I'm going to build it a little taller than this uh, so that I have that access underneath the stand for the sump, the skimmer, and what other, you know, equipment and plumbing that I have in there. So, let me know what you think. You think I should keep the stand if the, the sump and skimmer fit in it okay? Or should I build a new stand? Now, a new stand may cost me 200 maybe 250 in materials may take a weekend to build. Uh, I'm not afraid of getting sawdust on me. I've got all the tools I'm going to need to build it. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, in case you're curious about the lighting on here, I am running, when I had the cichlids in there, I was running Current USA Reef Ready LEDs. Um, it's great for fresh water, but I'll be honest, you know, I, I, I haven't put a, a PAR meter in there, so I don't know what the PAR is, but I just don't get a really good vibe that these these LEDs are going to be able to so, so support uh, any of the corals that I, that I want to put. And I'm not looking at loading the tank up with crazy corals, but, you know, I'd like some of the basics. Um, Fish-wise, I don't see any issue with it. I think it'd be perfect for just fish, and what I'm going to do is uh, once I get the lighting set up that I want to put in there, um, I'm going to call that, that kid up that I gave the African cichlids to and, and hook him up with these LEDs. Um, I already mentioned it to him, and, and I mean, it, the expression on his face was priceless. He was just like, oh my gosh, that is awesome. I've wanted LEDs like these forever. So, what I'm looking at doing, I've got the Reef Breeders Photon 2 16-inch. LEDs on my 50 gallon uh, and uh, amazing lights I mean I, I don't think I've got any of the color spectrum set above 50% uh, and, and they're doing the job uh, so what I was thinking of trying is getting you know one 16 inch section it would fit right here in fact this current USA light right here is I believe a 16 inch so it's about the same size and, I, I, and the light is rated for 24 to 36 inches. Now I don't know what the, the height is and the height will affect, you know, the, the taller it is, the wider it will spread. But I was thinking of doing either three 16 inch, you know, one for each, each section of the tank because the tank's basically divided into thirds, or do you know the 16 in the middle and 224s on the outside now what's weird I went to the reef breeders uh, website the 16 inch LED is I think 10 or 20 dollars more expensive than the 24 inch doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me um, I got a local fish shop and, and a lot of times the guy will the, the, the manager will price match or sometimes even do better than price match so I'm going to talk with him when I get to that stage where I'm ready to start buying lights so but it's coming together I uh, the other day Friday was was Black Friday and I saw who was a bulk reef supply had the and I'm going to mispronounce it, Cicce, S-I-C-C-E, uh, Syncra 5.0 uh, pumps uh, for sale. They were, they were on sale for Black Friday. Uh, I want to say they were like $143 a piece. Uh, and that's a, that's a killer price because they're normally like $200 bucks each. And in my mind, I was like, well, I'm going to wait until after the 1st of December, after I get paid, to, to order those. And I got on to their website yesterday and saw that the price was like 203 a piece. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, the Black Friday sales on, on Bulk Reef Supply expired. So, well, I went on to, to Amazon and found some for uh, 170 so a little more expensive but still is going to save me money uh, and again the, the local fish shop was going to price match but I didn't you know 
I didn't want to push my luck with him. It's it's cool when he hooks me up with a sale every once in a while, but to expect him to do it every time I walk into a store, I don't want to. I don't want to treat my friends that way. So I don't know if you guys are, are hearing this noise. My dogs are misbehaving down below here. Pan down. They're playing with my female Weimaraner, and I don't think she's too hip about playing with them. So I'm going to end this video before we have a, a dog fight going on. But do me a favor and leave, leave some comments. Uh, let me know what you think about the stand. Should I, should I keep it or should I ditch it? Hey, thanks. Y'all have a blessed day.